Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a while loop here. Okay, so what? now that we know if statements, we're really, um, we're very familiar um, with um, the idea that we have a condition and if that condition um, is true, some code executes, right? So if counter is less than one, we have this condition that this code in here will execute, right? Okay, so we have this, we have our if statement and we have counter and we're gonna, get, we're gonna, get to, go, we're going to go ahead and do print f. Um, and in the print f, we're gonna say counter Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and print the value of counter, all right? Um, counter, we, we declared it, but we didn't initialize it. So we're initializing it as zero. So we could predict right now that if counter is less than, less than one, right, then the printf statement, then 15 is going to execute. If not, we go on to line 17 in the program, and then to line 18, the program ends. So basically we're saying, if the condition is true, execute this line 15. Otherwise, skip line 15 and just move on with the program. Okay, so let's see how this runs. Okay, so GCC, and we're in while loop. Let's see, and our output is while loop. Oop, and as usual, I forgot my semicolon. And I forgot another semicolon. And one more semicolon. <laughs> okay, so it goes ahead, it compiles, and so let's go ahead and run it. Okay, and we get counter equals zero, as we expected. We're gonna add backslash n to add a um, to add a line break in there. Okay, so we get counter equals zero just as we expected. All right, now let's say let's so we've got the, we've got that idea right. If we set if we set it to one right, then then counter is less than one. That's gonna be false right, and it won't run anything right. Um, and just to just to um, just to um, just to uh, display this, we're going to go ahead and write um, end of um, main function. Okay, just to, just to go ahead and, uh, and, um, and to show that, that, that's, that that's what's happened. So we get down to line 18, so we can just see that it ran there. Okay, so let's do that. Let's compile and let's run it. And we say, oh, it's end of main function, right? So basically line 15 was skipped because of the fact that line 13, uh, the condition line 13 was false. So what happens if we go ahead and convert this if statement to a while statement? Okay, so we use the while keyword, and now what we're saying is, hey, don't just, don't just play this, uh, this if, right? Okay, actually, let's go ahead and just change this back to zero, and let's see what happens just real quick one last time. So we get counter equals zero because it, you know, this count it was true. It executed line 15, then it executed line 18. Okay. So we went ahead and ran it, and line 15 executed because the condition was true, and line 18 also executed because we got to the end of the program. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and change the if to a while statement, and let's see what happens now. So now we're saying, while 15 is true, go ahead and repeat, I'm sorry, while the condition on line 13 is true, go ahead and repeat the code on line 15 until this condition becomes false, at which point continue the program. Okay, so let's see what happens when that happens. Okay, so we compiled the code and now we're going to run it. Oh, what's happening? Okay, well, we got into a state called an infinite loop, right? So now what's happening 
is that basically it's just running line 15 again and again and again and again. This is it right here. It's running, I mean, if we, basically it ends, you know, the terminal won't even scroll that far. Okay, so so it's just running again and again. That's an infinite loop, right? Because because why? Well, because this never becomes, uh, it never becomes greater than one. That's it, right? Okay, so how what ha when you do this on Linux, like so this is a new Ubuntu Linux shell that you're operating, we're gonna do a control C. Okay, so control C will break out of some running process, right? So control C. All right, so we have this condition with counter is less than one. Let's say that we want to repeat this. Let's say we want to repeat it five times, okay? Well, if we just leave it as is, the counter will never increase and this will never become false. Therefore, it will never end. So in a loop, the condition must eventually become false or the loop will never end. Okay, now there's, there's a couple of keywords we're gonna go into in a minute that will help this situation. But for now, we're gonna just consider that, that if this condition never is false, if it's always true, the loop will continue indefinitely. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna increment the counter, and that's what we call it. So we're gonna increment the counter. In this case, we're gonna say counter equals counter plus one. Okay, now you might see it as this. Oftentimes you'll see this code. That's identical. Okay, so that also means counter equals counter plus one. We're not gonna be doing any shorthand for now, all right? So counter equals counter plus one. Okay, now when this when we go through, initially counter is zero. So line 13 is, is true. It prints on line 15. Counter equals counter plus one. Now counter equals one. It goes back up from line 17 back to line 13. It's now one is less than five, that's true. It prints counter one. Now counters, counter equals counter plus one is now two. Goes back up, is two less than five? Yes, if that's true. So we print it again, we increment it again. Now it's three, three gets, go, we go back up. Now the counters three is less than five, it's true. It goes right one more time. So counter equals counter plus one is four. We get to line 17, it goes back up. Counter equals four, it's less than five, that's true. It goes again. Okay, counter equals counter plus one, now it's five. It goes back up, oop, counter five is less than five, that's false, right? So now it goes down and finally, it'll go to 18 and then 19, so it skips the rest of the function. All right, so let's see how that works. And my lack of semicolons. I do most of my programming in Python, and so the semicolons are not in Python, so it's like a not a, it's not a, um, a habit, so sorry for the semicolons. All right, um, here we go. Okay, so while loop. Okay, and we get just as we expected, right? So it goes through the first time at zero. It prints the one statement, two statement, three statement, four statement. Finally, uh, right after the print F on when it prints counter equals four, then it increments to five. It goes back up to line 13. It's now false. It skips down to 18, then 19, and then finishes the the uh, thing, the the function. Okay, how about now, when we first start programming loops, well, the first thing that people think is, oh, any time the counter goes over five, it will end. Okay, so let's say we do counter equals counter plus 100, and then we do counter equals counter minus 99. Okay, so the effect is that counter's jumping to 100 and then going back down minus 99 so at the end on line at the end after line 17 the effect is plus 1 but during the function it goes way up right okay so let's take a look at what happens then okay we compile run it and what we get is this counter equals 100 101 2 3 4 and then finally end function so what you're seeing here is that it's never checked inside the function right so on 15 it's not checked not checked not checked it goes back up it's only checked here and only the value of counter at the end of line 17, that's the value of counter that is then, pat then the execution goes back up to line 13, and then the value is checked. Okay, so if you're trying to say shut something off in the middle of a process, it will not work just to all of a sudden say, okay, now the counter is this much, right? Okay, let's say, let's say that we want to make some kind of shut off though, okay? Let's say, so now we're, so we've got our basic while loop. Okay, but let's say we do want to just end the loop for some reason, right? Okay, let's say we want to do that. So we have our basic while loop, and now we want to do what's called, we want to break out of the while loop, all right? So the keyword break, so the next two things we're going to cover are the keyword break and the keyword continue. 
Break means to entirely leave the, the loop and go on with the rest of the program. To continue means to skip the rest of the loop and go on with the program. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do if. So now we're gonna um, scan F. Okay, so we need another, just, just to warn you, it's gonna get, look a little bit confusing, but it's still very simple, all right? So we have, we're gonna say we're gonna create a character array. And that's gonna be answer, and it's gonna have two spots in it. Okay, so we have trig character array, and then we're gonna ask the, um, we're gonna ask the user on each one. So we're gonna ask the user if they want to continue. Do you want to increment the counter? Okay, so we're gonna say, hey, do you want to increment the counter? Like, do you want the counter to go up? Okay, I'm gonna change it. I'm just gonna lose this kind of confusing increment right here. Okay, so I'm, we're gonna say, um, uh, puts, do you want to increment the counter? And then if they say yes, if, Sorry, we're gonna get their value, scan F. Okay, it's gonna come in as a um, string, right? A uh, character array. And we're gonna load their answer into answer, okay? All right, so we're gonna ask them, do you want to increment the counter? And we're gonna get their answer back in character array, scan F, right? And put it into answer. Okay, if answer equals, um, sorry, single quotes, yes, um, then counter equals counter plus one. Okay, else Oh, here we go. Incrementing the counter. Otherwise, not incrementing counter. Okay. All right, guys. So do you see what's happening here? Okay. So, so what we're doing here is we're asking for uh, some, we're, we're printing F, we're printing the counter's value. Okay, we're saying, do you want to increment the counter? Scan F, we get their answer. If the answer is yes, we're saying, hey, we're incrementing the counter. And then we do counter equals counter plus one. Puts not incrementing counter. Does that make sense? A million semicolons, thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it was a double quotes, not a single quote, so I forgot. All right, um, okay, here we go. Do you want to increment the counter? So counter equals zero. Do you want to increment the counter? Yes. <laughs> it's not going up. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Because it's not, sorry guys. I, I made a mistake there. It's um, switching between languages is difficult sometimes. So basically the character array in the character array, Y is being stored in the, in the first spot of the answer character array. So it's a, we have to refer to only the first spot, not the entire thing, right? So when it's bringing a string, the second spot is inhabited by the end of string character. Therefore, it's not the same as a Y. Here we go. All right. 
So control C to end it. And then we're going to compile again. And now it is actually a character. That should have been my first clue. All right. Sorry, do you guys see what happened there? So I forgot that I had to put it, just compare it to the first spot in the character array. And so then I made it a string. Okay, but then it's supposed to be a character as, as I first put it, right? So that single quotes means a character. So just as you're doing it, just remember, so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run it. Okay, do you wanna increment the counter? Yes, I do. Okay, now the counter is one. Yes, now the counter is two. If I put no, it doesn't put anything. Do you wanna increment the counter? No, 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 and then yes, right? Counter equals three. Okay, so let's do this same exact thing just with continue now, okay? So, so basically I can just put, um, so if, uh, if answer does not equal Y, then I can put continue. I can get rid of this else, right? And I can just put counter equals one. Okay, so if answer does not equal Y, I can put continue, okay? And we're gonna put not increment and counter. Okay, so the effect this is going to happen, have is that basically if I answer anything but Y, okay, then lines 23 and 24 are gonna execute. Line 24 is gonna cause, is gonna hit the continue keyword, therefore skipping lines 27 and 28. Okay, I know this is kind of a convoluted example, all right, but, um, but basically, okay, so basically just, we're just trying to show that continue is going to skip the rest of the loop, but not break out of the loop entirely, okay? All right, control C, I'm gonna end the program. I'm gonna go ahead and compile it again, and then we're gonna go ahead and run it, okay? Uh, no, and this time I can put literally anything so I'm hitting everything but Y, okay? Um, and then I go ahead and yes, and now the counter is one. Now the counter is two if I press Y. Press Y, hit enter, now the counter is three. Anything but Y, the counter stays at three, okay? So basically we're just, we're just um, showing that continue uh, misses the rest of the loop, right? It, it, it basically skips, if it hits continue, it skips 26, 27, 28, goes to line 30, and then goes back up to the while loop itself. Okay, uh, let me uh, reduce the size of this here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do break. So um, now the break keyword is similar to, uh, to continue. It's just that basically it, it won't continue with the loop. It just entirely breaks out and gets to the end of the, um, it gets to the end of the program. Okay, goodbye. Do you want to break? And we're gonna do Y. So this time we're asking, do you want to break? If the answer is yes, it says goodbye and then leaves the loop, okay? All right, let's go ahead and uh, compile it again. Okay, do you want to break? No, no, no. Yes, I want to break, Y, enter. It says goodbye, end of function, okay? So break basically just breaks you out of the loop entirely, continue skips everything else in that, um, in that uh, one instance of the loop, right? And then just continues on, all right? Hopefully that's a good introduction to the while loop.